My roommate's boyfriend keeps harassing me and I don't know how to tell her. Disclaimer is not my story time I sent me on Instagram. My roommate and I have been living together for two years now. Now, I wouldn't call her my best friend, but we are very close. I don't really talk about intimate things, but at the end of the night, she's always there and we usually have dinner together. Not really close to my family, so to me, it's important that she's there every single night. But here's where things get really shitty. Her and I both got boyfriends around the same time. I met my boyfriend through a friend and he is the sweetest, purest thing ever. This man cries at every single movie, but he travels a lot for work, so he's usually not there. Now, my roommate's boyfriend friend he's a personal trainer and i'm pretty sure he takes steroids because he's always angry should i say aggressive his behavior became super obnoxious to me right away as soon as he would come over to the apartment he would start saying things like babe your roommate is so hot like he would say that about me to my roommate of course she tried to laugh it off but i know it bothered her one day he even started joking about how he was gonna come into my room one night while i was asleep obviously i did not find this funny that's when i asked him to leave the apartment he got so mad he called me a bitch in front of my roommate and slammed a drawer do you think my roommate stood up for me no part two is up my roommate's boyfriend keeps harassing me and i don't know how to tell her claim is not my story time it's not me on instagram after he called me a bitch and left the apartment i was terrified first off this guy is 6'2 and he's built like a truck he's like pure muscle but when he's yelling in my face and slamming drawers of course i'm terrified but my roommate does nothing but it gets worse two hours after he left he sends me a text message saying fuck you and then he sends me a picture of him with his tongue out giving me the middle finger i got up to show it to my roommate but that's when she actually asked to talk to me she sat me down on the couch and she started telling me how he's such a good man and how she's never been able to find anybody like him then she asked me if i could just try to get along with him she even started crying and it broke my heart so i decided to let it go but the next time this guy came over once again he started playing super loud music i came out of my bedroom because i was trying to work and i asked him nicely to turn it down at this point my roommate was showering so it was just him and me in the living room but then he gets up from the couch and walks slowly towards me looking me up and down that's when he says you wish you had a guy like me i turned around and tried to walk back to my room but he grabbed my arm and turned me around then he grabbed my face and tried to kiss me I actually gagged that's when he said to me that i was just playing and that i actually want him the whole time he was squeezing my arm so hard i finally got away and went into my bedroom and that's when he sent me a picture of his thing i literally almost died i walked out and kicked him out again this time he didn't put up a fuss but now i don't know how to tell my roommate what the heck am i gonna do story time about how i faked a pregnancy to get my boyfriend to marry me disclaimer this is not my story time it was sent to me on instagram okay this is super embarrassing and i did get in trouble for this so strap in he's now my ex because of course he dumped my ass he and i met in college and we were totally in love like we spent every single day together and we moved in together really fast we even stopped going to parties just to be together about three years into the relationship i told him that i definitely wanted to get married he told me that he just wasn't ready and then everything got really bad he became really cold towards me when i confronted him about it he was honest and he told me that he just didn't love me anymore then he moved out and literally cut me out of his life even his parents told me to leave him alone so there's a pregnant girl working at the coffee shop i usually go to i paid her 600 dollars to pee on a pregnancy stick i knew this was the only way i was gonna get him to marry me i show up to my boyfriend's house but guess who's there he's with his ex-girlfriend sitting on the couch watching a movie that's when i willed myself to cry and i show him the pregnancy test part two is up so i show my ex the fake pregnancy test so that he can marry me disclaimer this is not my story time it was sent to me on instagram mind you his ex is sitting on the couch waiting for him to come back so that they can finish watching their stupid movie and when he saw that the test was positive he started to cry i told him that we had to talk and he told his ex to leave then he tells his parents to come into the room and his mom also started to cry when she saw the pregnancy test I couldn't really tell if they were happy tears or if they were like oh no tears that's when i told him that i fully expected him to ask me to marry him i even told him that i was two months along so we could start planning the wedding that's when he told his parents that i was right then he asked me to marry him i knew that i got what i wanted but i had no idea how i was gonna fake this pregnancy a few days later he moved back into our apartment he started painting the guest room so that it could be the nursery but here's the worst part a month later i was still not able to get pregnant I didn't know what to do, so I started eating a lot of food to fake the pregnancy bump. I would eat McDonald's for breakfast and Taco Bell for dinner. Part 3 is up. In order to fake the pregnancy, I had to gain weight. So I started eating tons of food. I would have pizza every other day. I ate two pints of ice cream a day. And every time I passed by a fast food place, I would pick up something to eat. I was gaining a little bit of weight, so people believed me when I said I was pregnant. Finally, the wedding came around. I was so relieved once we were married because I knew I had to eventually go to the doctor. And I had decided that once the doctor said that I wasn't pregnant, I would put on a show and pretend that I just lost the baby. Well, when it finally happened, my husband straight up asked me if I made it all up. And I told him yes. 
It literally took him one hour to move out of the apartment. He went straight to get a restraining order and my parents sent me to a psychiatrist. But you see, we're still married. He hasn't filed for divorce, so I think I should reach out to him. I know he and I will end up together. What do you guys think? Story time of how I almost got arrested for selling my mom's underwear. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. My mom is a total mill. She used to be a video vixen back in the early 2000s. She even used to model and had a huge following. By the way, yes, I am her son. She's in her late 30s now, but she's still banging. So I basically found a way to monetize her hotness. The idea came to me one day when I was looking on the internet on how to make money online. Well, I found a bunch of articles about how people sell their foot pictures for money. This totally blew my mind and I thought I can definitely do that with my mom's feet. So I started out by taking pictures of my mom's feet, but she wasn't having it and she even got suspicious and asked me why I was doing that. So I basically had to stop that. Then I found an article about women selling their underwear. I knew this was what I needed to do. My mom had her fair share of underwear, so I thought she's not gonna notice if you go missing. What I'm about to say is really gross. Yes, I started stealing my mom's dirty underwear and selling them online. I sold the first pair for 50 bucks. After that, I started stealing my so mom's I started underwear stealing my mom's underwear to sell them online. So basically, I started keeping track of every single time my mom went to shower. After she was done showering, I would make sure to go and steal her underwear, her dirty underwear. Then I would take a peek into her laundry basket and grab whatever was there too. In just the first month of selling my mom's underwear, I had made 500 bucks. So I started selling even more underwear. And I started selling them for 75 bucks a pop. And this is gross, but some guys wanted my mom's underwear after she went to the gym. Totally disgusting, but those are the ones that I could really sell for more money. One day my mom started getting really suspicious, asking me where I got the money to buy all the stuff that I was getting. And of course she started freaking out because she noticed a lot of her underwear started going missing. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. Well, I didn't know this, but my mom had installed cameras because she was getting really nervous that she had a stalker. So I would go on about my day stealing my mom's underwear. Little did I know I was being filmed every second of the day. There there's a knock on the door one day and it's the police part three one day there's a knock on the door and it's the police they told me they had a warrant to search my house i called my mom and she came home right away that's when she broke it to me and told me that she had installed cameras and that she caught someone in the camera stealing her underwear i couldn't believe they hadn't figured out it was me then she shows me the camera recordings in front of the police and you can totally tell it's me in the video stealing my mom's underwear and putting it in ziploc bags and then i would just send it off to these nasty dudes that's when the cops told me they were gonna arrest me. My mom begged them not to and explained to them that it was probably just a phase I was going through. I basically stayed quiet the whole time because I was not about to incriminate myself. The cops leave and my mom turns to me and starts laughing. She confesses that she set up the whole thing because she knew the whole time it was me stealing her underwear. When I told her how much money I'd made, she said we should keep going 